who loved his life loses it. He who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. And where I am, there shall my servant be also. If anyone <coughs> serves me, the Father will honor him. May God add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. As much as this please, Almighty God, to take unto himself the soul of our brother, we commit him unto the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust, and a sure and certain hope of the resurrection unto life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, now let this thy servant depart in peace according to your word. For his eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people. The light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Dear brothers and sisters, I now ask you to join me in praying the prayer that our Lord Jesus taught us to pray at the day. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, by your death, you took away the sting of death. Grant us your servant so to follow in faith where you have led the way, that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and wake in your likeness. For you, the author and giver of life, be all honor and glory in the church now and forever. Amen. Amen. Rest eternal, grant Martin, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon him. Now the God of peace, who brought again from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you all perfect in every good work to do God's will, working in all of you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory and honor forever and ever. Let the church of God say, Amen. 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 Of the memorial, as it is a sad custom among Tony to send such a mason or requested by a brother or his family to accompany the remains to the place of interment and here deposit his body in the usual formality. In conformity with the truth of the and memory of our dear brother, whose memory is severe and lost in the floor, we all assemble this character of mason to offer one less tribute of our affection to his memory, demonstrating to the world the sincerity of our past esteem. Enhancement to the principle of our order. As it is pleased the great creator to remove our brother from the cares and trust of this world, we who survive him, we will start to cement his ties, union, and friendship, and in some measure make up for his loss by a more warm with zeal and a fidelity and the duty and charity of life. Unto the grave we find the body of our brother, earth to earth. Ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. There to remain, the trumpet shall sound on resurrection morn. Rest in our hearts, rest in peace. Raised by the grandmaster's word. May we are here and share in honor of joy, perfection, and good sport. Grand honor, brother. Unto the grave, we consign the remains of our brother. Remember, we shall cherish here. We commend the soul unto God's gate. Unto the grave we consign the more remains of our brother. We shall cherish his memory here. We commend his soul unto God's gate. Unto the grave we consign the more remains of our brother. We shall cherish his memory here. We commend his soul unto God's gate. May the Lord
Lord, watch between me and thee. Well, I'll be away from another. Amen. Amen. Amen.